Fibroids are benign growths within the wall of the uterus. They are um, an elongation and multiplication of the muscle fibres within the uterus. If you look at the fibroids, they actually look like um, balls of muscle. 80% of women will experience fibroids during their lifetime. As women become older, they are more likely to develop uh, fibroids. The most common symptoms related to fibroids are abnormal uterine bleeding, pressure because of the size and position of the fibroid, pain depending on the location and the size of the fibroid, and infertility. There are also many women who are asymptomatic, in other words, they have no symptoms from their fibroids and they become only aware of their fibroids when they're being investigated for other gynaecological um, conditions. Fibroids may grow in any part of the uterus. They can grow on the outside of the uterus, that's known as the serosa of the uterus. They can grow within the muscle of the uterus and they're known as intramural fibroids or they can be completely in the cavity of the uterus and they're known as submucosal fibroids. Fibroids affect fertility in the following ways. The fibroids that are submucosal and they are the ones that are within the cavity of the uterus affect implantation of a pregnancy within the uterus. Even if a pregnancy commences to implant, uh, having a fibroid in this position will increase the risk of miscarriage. Fibroids within the muscle of the uterus or intramural fibroids affect fertility as they keep growing. And usually when these fibroids are six to seven centimetres or greater, we would consider dealing with those surgically. The fibroids that are on the outside of the uterus or the serosal fibroids would be dealt with according to their own symptoms, but they don't specifically affect fertility. As fertility specialists, we would diagnose fibroids by clinical examination and the use of ultrasound. Once the fibroids are diagnosed and we work out what impact they may have on your fertility, treatment can occur in the following ways. If the fibroid is submucosal, in other words, within the cavity of the uterus, then we would remove it hysteroscopically, and that's by placing a telescope through the vagina, into the cervix, and then into the uterine cavity, and removing the fibroid. The fibroid that is within the muscle of the uterus, and even the fibroids that are serosal, in other words, on the outside of the uterus, are dealt with in two particular surgical ways. They can be removed laparoscopically, in other words, using keyhole surgery, or if they're too large or there's too many, then the patient may require a laparotomy, in other words, traditional open surgery. The, the best modality for treating your fibroids will be determined by your fertility specialist. It is important that fibroids are diagnosed and appropriately treated. The reason for that is that if they are treated appropriately by your fertility specialist, it will significantly improve your chances of um, getting pregnant, both spontaneously, in other words, on your own, or with IVF technologies. If you suspect that you have fibroids, or if you have fibroids and are having difficulties getting pregnant, you should see your GP and ask for a referral to a fertility specialist.